Force is developing one of the most advanced fifth generation warfighting capabilities in the world. Our integration, information and innovation will drive a modern and fully integrated combat force that can deliver air and space power effects in the information age. Our mission, Ready the Warfighter, reflects the centrality of the Air Warfare Centre's task of transforming Air Force for fifth generation warfighting. In Air Force, the Air Warfare Centre is the go-to organisation for integrated air warfare, solutions and advice. The Air Warfare Centre is the backbone that supports Air Command in driving and achieving the Plan Jericho vision to develop a future force that is agile and adaptive, fully immersed in the information age and truly joint. So the concept of a fifth generation organisation means that we collaborate, we integrate and we're agile and adaptive and we need to do that to be able to ensure that we can not only support the fifth generation platform but we can deliver fifth generation effects in a, in a modern battle space. So how we think, how we collaborate together has to change. We can't do business as we have done traditionally. We need to look at how we change to support those fifth generation platforms. So warfare was transformed substantially through the advent of the industrial age. We're seeing exactly the same thing happen again as we're moving into the information age. So our warfighters need to not only be experts in delivery of air power, both kinetically and non-kinetically across the air environment, uh, or maritime and land domains, they've really got to be knowledgeable about how to plan and execute and deliver those effects in, in far more complex uh, terrain. And I'm talking about uh, cyber terrain and the fact that we can deliver effects uh, from space or uh, through your computer. So while we can go and buy a fifth generation platform, the platform itself doesn't provide the, the fifth generation capability without people that provide and operate and support that type of capability. And in order for them to be able to maximise the effect of that platform, they need to think differently about the way they do their job. Our people are our power, I suppose, and, and so we need to work professional capability, their, their personal capability, and again, how they collaborate as teams to, to deliver effects out to the warfighter. We can't take the same approach into the, the modern way of warfighting. We are an organisation where individual and team excellence is achieved through integrated air warfare design, solution and maintenance for joint warfighting effects. Our leaders proactively pursue integration opportunities and develop our personnel to be capable of delivering enhanced integration and innovative warfare capabilities. We are supported by a workforce that includes Air Force, Army, Navy, Public Service and Defence Industry personnel. International engagement is a key part in our Air Force strategy. So we need to collaborate with our coalition partners because we understand that almost all of our operations are going to be as a coalition. We must integrate um, and understand their capabilities with our unique capabilities um, to deliver the mission effect. And we need to collaborate with industry partners because we understand and acknowledge that we don't hold all of the answers within Air Force. We have to um, engage with them uh, to develop combined answers, do that rapidly and be able to repeat that regularly to be able to provide again a military advantage. We will systematically generate rapid, cogent and integrated solutions in response to current and future capability gaps using bottom-up innovation. We will bring together subject matter experts from across all defence capabilities to support integrated air warfare. We will be the centre for innovation and thinking for integrated operations. The Tactics and Training Directorate is essentially the essence of what the Air Warfare Centre is. It is looking to integrate the warfighters amongst our coalition partners and amongst our joint partners in the Australian Defence Force to be experts in the tactical execution of warfighting. We are transforming the way Air Force thinks and operates, applying an integrated and engaging mindset amongst our people to deliver and maintain excellence in everything we do. Air Warfare Instructor Course, or AWIC, um, as it's otherwise known, is held every two years. 
There's four predominant exercises that we run as part of the course or that we're running for A Week 19. Uh, those are Diamond Sage, which is an academics phase uh, that we do at the start of the course. We then have exercise Diamond Seas, which is primarily a maritime focused activity. We have Diamond Shield, which is our defensive counter air uh, serial that we do. And then we have a Diamond Storm, which is offensive counter air. This course enables the development of technical experts from across Air Force in a simulated complex warfighting environment. Air Warfare Instructor course graduates instructors that will then go back into the force element groups to train the instructors within those groups. So in essence providing back into the system subject matter experts that will drive tactical innovation. AWIC's important because we're generating the Air Warfare Instructor graduates that are going to be the leaders taking Australia's fifth generation capabilities forward. We will prepare the Air Force for fifth generation warfare through systematic application of education, doctrine, test and evaluation and live, virtual and constructive testing and training systems. So LVC is a combination of the live, virtual and constructive environments. Uh, it covers from live aircraft, live systems, to virtual aircraft and systems, right down to computer generated items. For aircrew, the unrivalled training arena is undoubtedly the live flying environment. However, with the evolving complexities of the modern battlefield, not all training can be fully achieved in that arena. LVC can and does bridge the gap. It can provide the complexity, density, scale and importantly the high fidelity environments required to adequately test and train our fifth generation platforms. Air traffic is Magpie Hunter already established. LVC allows Air Force to integrate and exercise our advanced capabilities and tactics in a safe and secure environment without the necessity and cost of getting them airborne. We can make direct use of our advanced test and training ranges which are increasingly networked. While it will not replace international exercises, LVC gives us the capability to train even more regularly with our key international partners. LVC is a reality. I think the change that intelligence needs to face or the challenge it needs to face is actually understanding how our enemy is going to fight in the information warfare domain. We've grown an understanding of how our enemy is going to fight in the more traditional domains of air and land and sea and now the ADF and specifically for Air Force the Air Warfare Centre has to grapple and understand how our enemy is going to fight in that new information warfare domain. Aircraft such as the F-35 require a high level of intelligence mission data to enact its mission and this support is provided by technical programmers working both domestically and in the US to produce the kind of technical output required that enables the full spectrum of warfighting capabilities for those next generation fighter aircraft. So the Test and Evaluation Directorate's role within the Air Warfare Centre is to test and validate uh, new capabilities being introduced into ADF service. It's an incredibly important role because it uh, allows us to uh, understand both the strengths and weaknesses of our capabilities and how we might better uh, develop the tactics with which we employ the capabilities that we've procured. Our work is not only about developing capability, but testing that capability through joint exercises and advanced testing of platforms and munitions. The lessons we learn through this process further sharpen our tactics, strengths and capabilities. Flight test and evaluation is used by the Air Warfare Centre to assess with known confidence the degree to which Air Force's aviation capabilities satisfy the operational requirements. Part of our work within Test and Evaluation Directorate is uh, developing new capabilities in concert with uh, Defence Science and Technology Group uh, as well as Australian industry. An example of that is uh, the development of flight instrumentation systems, uh, particularly those that aren't required to be 
uh, installed long term in aircraft. This is a future direction uh, for most aircraft uh, in military service around the world and something we're working in collaboration with USAF with at the moment. Our integration, information and innovation will drive a modern and fully integrated combat force that can deliver air and space power effects in the information age. The Air Warfare Centre, bringing capabilities together to ready a fifth generation warfighter.